The year was 2007 when audiences everywhere were glued to a brand new Nickelodeon show following a young teen's internet show titled iCarly, put on by close friends Carly, Freddie, Sam, and also featured Carly's brother Spencer, that his show has recently made a comeback on Paramount Plus just two years ago. And joining me now to unpack it all are actors Nathan Kress and Jerry Trainer. Guys, this is awesome. How are you? We're great. Okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let me just start by asking this. Did either of you think that this show would take off in the way that it originally did and become this huge pop culture sta uh, staple that it became? No. I think everybody hoped, but nobody expected. Mm -hmm. I was told, I, I remember explicitly being told, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they were like, do you want this role? And I was like, yeah, of course I want this role. And they were like, okay, it'll probably like go a couple, like two, three years, and then you can go off and do like, non-children's entertainment and well <laughs> that didn't happen that didn't. well technically you are doing non-children's entertainment now even though that's it's true the title of the show that's so that's true nathan <laughs> See, look, now that he's all grown up he thinks he could just talk back to me like it's not like it's nothing he just thinks he knows everything. I love it. He knows Our, it all. <laughs> guys, what was it like for both of you getting to return to the show and revamp your roles as Freddie and Spencer? I mean, well, at first it was like putting on an old, warm, cozy blanket. I, I think just getting to see these guys again was just uh, so nostalgic in its own right, but also a little bit scary because things were different. You know, it wasn't exactly the same show, but I think we had enough to cling to of our old characters to be able to get there at rehearsal on the first day and go, oh yeah, I remember. It's it's starting to come back now. So it's it's been just so fun to have elements of the old show, but also come at these characters in a very, very new way that we wouldn't be able to do if this was still a kid's show. So it's, you know, it's still wacky, zany, but it's a little <laughs> more realistic in the issues and stuff that they're dealing with and some actual kind of adulting stuff, especially Carly and Freddie's relationship going into the, the third season and finally having to figure out, is this going to happen for them or not? So it's a it's a very important season for the fans to watch. Yeah, for sure. Jerry, what was it like for you returning to the role of Spencer? Oh, I love it. I love playing Spencer. He's I just get to be the the weirdest. I get to do the funniest stuff. I, they they always write insane stuff. I feel like they they're always pushing the envelope with Spencer, the original series, and now this this season. I mean, a lot of weird outfits for some reason, okay. and you find out what I was doing between the season, the, the original series and now, and it's bizarre. It's mm. a little disturbing. Okay. But, uh, yeah. But also working with them as now grownups is very fun. It's, it's just, it's a blast. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So aside from what both of you have kind of already said, season three premieres on June 1st. So what can fans look forward to in this brand new season? Or what's something that you can maybe tease for me? And you have to watch the last episode of the season is going to be such a bombshell. And I, we can't really say much, except you're gonna wanna watch. Gonna wanna watch. Yeah. We we're all very genuinely surprised and did not see that ending coming. But um, yeah. but again, it's uh, the big thing, at least for Carly and Freddie, is is finally after 15 years, uh, you know, his his Freddie's girlfriend at the end of the second season said, "Look, you guys are in love with each other, and I can't take it anymore," and stormed off. Mm. So. You know, there, there was the chance that maybe we could say, could we pretend like that never happened and just keep going with the show and that will they, won't they thing? But uh, I, I think we all knew there was no way that we could do that and still be respectful to the fans and how invested they are in that relationship. So it's uh, it's all coming to a head this season and uh, it's going to be it's going to be pretty dramatic there it's there's some kind of serious stuff that happens in in this season it's really really exciting. but it's funny but it's wacky and it's funny it's wacky <laughs> and it's funny with, it's just sprinkled with some drama but it's wacky and it's funny i love that and i love the tease about freddie and carly's relationship i think for a lot of those longtime fans that's going to get them really excited okay you know i'm also curious to know um the cast comes off as pretty close you know obviously on the show and on social media are you guys as close in real life as it seems it's all it's mortal all enemies all fake <laughs> we Mortal. don't speak with each other it's in our contracts actually enemies. we are not allowed to address each other we each have an assistant i don't let us. nathan look me directly in the eyes he does <laughs> i can do it through problems. zoom though so i'm looking at him right now if i could if i could him. prove that you were looking at me in the oh man oh <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we have a great time together at work. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. We I can are tell. best friends. <laughs> okay, my final question for you, and I'm going to veer off the path a little bit here. So Jeanette McCurdy did not return to the revamp, but also she released a book recently that kind of unleashed a lot about the things she experienced as a child. What do you guys think about her book, and are you in touch with her? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I read it as soon as it is it came as soon as it came out, and I called her, and I was just, you know, it, it's. I watched all these kids grow up, you know, in a weird work environment. And her book is very much about her sort of private life mm -hmm. and it's heartbreaking, but it's written in such a brilliant, funny way that it's very digestible. And I'm just proud of her as a grown up, being able to speak her truth, having overcome so much. And she seems to be thriving. I mean, it's, it's great. Yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. And for all of our viewers, you have to catch up on seasons one and two of iCarly on Paramount Plus before season three. Guys, thank you. Thank you.